Michelle just suddenly showed up to take over for Melania, make sick announcement about Trump. It amazes me how the Obamas continue to divide this country, even without being in the White House. Michelle Obama presented a speech in Utah that was hosted by the company called Plural Sight. Michelle Obama made a speech in Utah that was hosted by the company called Plural Sight. The United States is a country of law, not fear. There is nothing wrong to enforce the current laws that we have. If you have no laws then there will be anarchy, hence the way Antifa has been behaving. We finally have a president that will enforce these laws and unhinged liberals are out of control. How could a former first lady support the unhinged Antifa? She then went on to criticize America first policies. Yes, America is not alone in the world with other countries but the president's first and most important responsibility of his job is the well-being of the American people. Obviously, because of Barack Obama with the help of Democrats and Renos of the Republican Party, the United States is a country that needs a lot of work. The Salt Lake Tribune reported, when asked how she views the world right now, former First Lady Michelle Obama had less of an answer and more of a gut reaction. She cringed and quietly groaned. I don't have much of a poker voice, Obama said with a laugh. Though she didn't mention President Donald Trump by name a leader who spent much of his early tenure trying to erase the legacy of her husband, former President Barack Obama the former first lady did tell a Salt Lake City audience Thursday that we are looking at two different administrations. One, she said, was built on hope. The other is being led with fear. And via the Hill Michelle Obama said in a speech Thursday that the White House is currently being led by fear, comparing President Trump's administration with her husband and former President Obama's administration. The former first lady said at a tech conference in Utah that her husband's presidency was built on hope, while Trump's is being led fear, according to the Salt Lake Tribune. It isn't just us first, she said, referring to Trump's America first policies. We live in a big country and a big world, she said. You can't just want to help someone in a hurricane and not make sure they can go to the doctor when they're sick. Trump reiterated his America First doctrine in a speech to the United Nations General Assembly this week, emphasizing that America would put its people first just as other nations should put their people first, which he said would bring about international security and prosperity. As President of the United States, I will always put America first, just like you as the leaders of your countries will always and should always put your countries first, he said it Tuesday in New York. Trump has also emphasized an America first stance on international trade and domestic manufacturing. Michelle Obama said that things are tough right now and we're being tested. The former first lady says she continues to be hopeful that things will improve. When pressed by an audience member to run for president in 2020, she quickly shot back, oh, no. Running for office is nowhere on the radar screen, but continuing in public service is something I will do for the rest of my life. Her remarks were part of an hour-long moderated conversation that came on the final day of a three-day tech conference hosted by Pluralsight, a Utah-based company. More than 1,000 attendees, mostly IT employees, Rapidly watched as she spoke, clapping loudly and nodding in agreement. How can a country expect to take care of other countries if they have their own problems to deal with? The United States is so far in debt, so divided, so many problems. How can they be expected to help take care of other countries? It's physically impossible. You would think seeing it all first. Hand is the first lady she would have understood the position of the United States presidency. Then again, it was clear when Barack Obama was president, his motive was to destroy the country from the inside, which he successfully did. So it's really no surprise that Michelle Obama continues to this day, help divide the country with hate even after Barack's term. This really needs to stop because it is going past what free speech is because it's dividing the country and inciting violent hate crimes. I think the way to combat these evil lies of hate is for President Trump to hire or ask for more volunteers to represent his presidency in informing the public what America first really means. Also to inform the public what the Constitution is all about and what exactly is the president responsible for. I know all of this is supposed to be taught in schools, 
but right now, the education system needs to be fixed. Then people will understand what is false and what is true and what the United States presidency is supposed to be all about. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.